You're watching Realistic Fishing, the most realistic fishing show on YouTube. No bullshit, no fake sponsored content, you know how I do it. I can only sum it up by saying one thing. To borrow a quote from Hall of Famer Ron Simmons, all I gotta say is... Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here tonight to fish with topwater poppers. Let's just get right into it and see if we can catch any bass. Here's what I'm starting out with. We have an H2O Express model TWP Bullfrog. TWP, I'm guessing that stands for Top Water Popper. Good looking popper here in a frog pattern. Yeah, let's get it tied on, see if we can't get a bass, or two or three. Yeah, that's what we're working with right here. I'm fishing 15 pound test braid to a 12 pound test mono leader on a medium light spinning setup here. Let's see if we can find some topwater bass action. fish. All right. First fish of the day. Feisty little guy. There we go. Got about a quarter pounder with cheese here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, first bass of the day right here. H2O Express Topwater Popper. Picked up this quarter pounder with cheese. Hey, happy to throw off the skunk. Now we can move on to bigger and better fish. Yeah, nice one, let's let him go. This is Freddie K. Myers with UCW and the RWF, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Everybody, one time with me now, say, keep it realistic. Keep it realistic. Cool, let's keep going. fish. Another one. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Jumper here. Woo. Yeah, that's a little better. Now we're up in the half pound class. There we go. Yeah, nice second fish here. About twice as big as that last one, right? We got about a half pounder here. Came up and grabbed that topwater popper in the frog pattern. One cast later. That's two fish so far on the H2O Express popper. Let's let them go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's two already. Well, that's two fish over here by the drain. Let's go work our way down the bank. Sometimes I like to cast it out there and let it sit for a little while. Wait for those rings to disperse. Then start working it. Makes it look like it was stunned for a while. Like I've said in many other videos, I'm a big believer in the pause. Sometimes you just want to let it sit there. 
work it for a minute, then just let it sit there. The sweat is just rolling down my forehead. It is hot and humid tonight. Probably 90 degrees right now. That's all right though, I'm doing what I love. All right, well, I've got a good feel for the frog. I've got two fish on this particular pattern. Let's go to the big silver one the fish pattern, see if we can get a bite on that one. Yeah, we're gonna switch to this one, the TWMX. Chrome with a black back. This is the Classic Man with RWF Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Here she is, we're switching it up to this one. Chrome in black and red. We'll see if it makes a difference. Let's go in the woods. There's a couple spots over here that I like. Damn it, something went for it there and missed it. Let's see if they'll come back for it. Got him that time. Wow. There we go. Wow. He's caught and he knows it. <laughs> Gonna need the pliers for this one. Wow, he just spit it out. Yeah, there we go. Bleeding a little bit, he got hooked way down in the mouth. We're gonna let him go right away. He unhooked himself by thrashing. Now he's bleeding a little bit. He'll be all right. Yeah, good one. All right, well, I got one fish over here, over here by this down tree, an acrobatic fish. Jumped out of the water, grabbed it, Went kind of nuts. It was pretty fun. But the bite has slowed down. We're going to walk back down the bank towards the car. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Yeah, my wrist and arm are getting a little bit tired from all of the rod tip twitching. But it's totally worth it for that top water splash. This is Kenny Sal. From Rock and Wrestling Federation, RWF. You're watching Realistic Fishing. You better keep it realistic. fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Let's get the pliers out right away. 
not hooked deep, luckily. Yeah, yeah, this is the biggest one tonight so far. Good sized bass here. Nice and thick in the belly. Nice and tall. Yeah, good fish. About a pound and a half. Yeah, that's a good one. What is that, fish number four on the popper tonight? Yeah, let's let him go. Nice. So that's two on the silver popper. Let's take another quick look at it. Yeah, nice and shiny. Can you still see? Bats. Got him. Got him. Yeah, feels like a good fish. Oh, I see. It's not exactly hooked in the mouth. Wow, easy, bro. Oh. Got him. Wow, he is hooked in the side of the mouth on the outside. Got it. Here it is, fifth fish. Can you see him? Another fish about 1.5 pounds just before the sun went down. Yeah, got him on that topwater popper. Just before the sun goes down, good time for top water. This is the time. Yeah, let's let him go. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Last cast right here. Fish. Oh, feels like a good one. Wow. Yes, yes. All right. This looks like the biggest fish of the night right here. Let's get my pliers ready. There we go, there we go. Might be kinda hard to see, but this is it. Last fish of the night right here. We got a solid two pounder. Yeah, yeah, look at this guy. Wow, chewed my thumb up right there, ow. Anyway, good fish here. Went for that top water popper, H2O Express. Those things are like two bucks each. They're catching fish tonight. Let's let them go. That's it. That's it. Well, I'm pretty much boiling now, but it was a good night of fishing. What did I get? Six largemouth bass? on those top water poppers from H2O Express. Got a couple on the frog, got a couple on the chrome and black. Yeah, I'm not totally surprised by how well they work, but I'm surprised at how well they worked. Anyway, thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.